Hi there and welcome to Kapow Wow Maths. This is a Kapow Wow Maths tutorial and what I'm going to tutor you about is equivalent fractions. Woo! Right, so what we're going to be learning today is to be able to understand and find equivalent fractions. Okay, so that is what today's lesson is going to be about. So let's do it. So we're going to do equivalent fractions with me, Mr. Chris, and with also my helper with Freddy Fraction. There is Freddy Fraction. Okay, let's go. So here we go. Freddy Fraction. What are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are fractions which are equal, the same, in value. There we go. So that is what equivalent fractions mean. They are the same. They have the same value. Here we have a half and two quarters. As you can see, these are equivalent fractions, the same. Here we have, yes, we have Freddy, yes, so we've got the half here, and we've got one, two, so we've got two and quarters, because there's one, two, three, four sections there. So one half and two quarters. Are they the same, Freddy? Oh yeah, they're totally the same, as you can see. The two circles have to be the same shape as well, and size. Thank you, Freddy. What about another one, Freddy? Here we have two quarters and three sixths. As you can see, these are equivalent fractions, the same value. There we go. Thank you, Freddie. So we've got one, two here, four pieces. That's two and quarters. Two quarters is the same as three, six, because one, two, three, and we've got six pieces all together. It's the same amount. Okay? So equivalent fractions mean the same. Okay? Let's have a look. Freddie Fraction, how can we find equivalent fractions? Some children in my class are confused. Okay, don't worry. I'll explain and show you now, okay? All right, here we go. So, working out is very, very, very important. This is very important. If you don't do this, you're less likely to remember. So, Freddie, come on, let's go. First, what you need to do is how, what was me multiply by one to make two? The answer is two. You got it. The next one, if we look at the denominator on the bottom here, what must we multiply by 2 to make 4? Yes, 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4. What we're going to do next is we're going to circle the times by the 2 and the 1 on the bottom. Now, if these numbers are the same, it means it's equivalent. So. That is why they're equivalent fractions. Exactly, thank you, Freddie. So, make sure you do your workings out, multiplying these two numbers have to be the same. Okay, next one. Come on, Freddie, I'm going to try and explain this one. So I think he said, we see what times by two equals six. So I think that's two, four, six, that's three. Let's go to denominator on the bottom, the three. What must we multiply by three to equal nine? So that's three. Now I'm going to circle these numbers. And if these numbers are the same, which they are because we've got three and three, they are equivalent. That's why they're equivalent. They're the same. They've increased by the same. Exactly. So, Freddy Fraction, can we play a game? Okay, let's try to find equivalent fractions. Are these equivalent fractions? Think about it. You can pause the video now if you want. Let's have a look. So what you should have done is 1 times 2. And then we've got to go 4 times what? 4 times 2. We circle the two numbers. They are multiplied by 2. So they are equivalent fractions. Yes, equivalent fractions. Totally awesome. What about the next one? We've got 1 third and 4 ninths. So let's go through this. You can pause this as you do it as well and see if you've got it correct. What must we multiply by what to make four is four. We're going to go to the denominator on the bottom, the three now. And what must we multiply by three to make nine? The answer is three times three equals nine. Now remember this part. Let's circle. So we've got, we're times it by four, times it by three. That is that equivalent or not? It's not. No, they are not equivalent, you silly sausage. Right, let's do another one. So here we go, we've got one third and two thirds. You can pause it now and then play it. So you should have done what times one equals two. That should have been two. 
go to the denominator, what times the three equals six, that's two. We then circle, so they are equivalent. Yes, equivalent fractions. Are these equivalent? Let's have a look. So we've got one quarter and four quarters. So remember, do these workings out. What times one equals four? And the answer is four. Now, we need to go to the denominator. What times four equals eight? The answer is two. We need to remember to circle. Are these two the same numbers? No, they're not. So, no, they are not equivalent fractions, you silly sausage. So, thank you for that, Freddie. Let's do this one. Are these equivalent fractions? You've got one fifth, two fifteenths. Again, you can pause and practice to see if you can do this before I answer. So what we should have done is one times what equals two? The answer is two, correct. We'll then look at the denominator of five. What five times by five or multiplied equals 15? The answer is three. Now, this is the most important part. Circle those numbers. Are these the same numbers? No, they're not. So, Fred, are they equivalent? Fractions? No, they are not, you silly sausage. Okay, let's try and do this one. Are these equivalent? We've got one quarter and four sixteenths. Let's have a go. So, again, you can pause this and then see if you've done it the correct way. So, what we want to do is, with the numerator, see how many ones, what times one equals four? The answer is four. And let's go to the denominator of 4, and 4 times what equals 16? The answer is 4. What we need to do next now is circle these numbers. Right, are these two numbers the same? They are. They Are they correct? Yeah, these are totally equivalent fractions. Right, let's see if we can do this one. We've got 1 third and 3 ninths. Are these equivalent? So, we should have done... 1 times what equals 3 is 3. 3 times what equals 9? The answer is 3. Now, what we need to remember is to circle the numbers that we've got. Okay? So, these are the same. So, these are equivalent fractions. Yes! These are totally awesome. Equivalent fractions because we have both multiplied the 3, the numerator by the 3, and the denominator by the 3. Thank you, Freddie, for that. And that is equivalent fractions with me, Mr. Chris, and me, Freddie Fraction. Thank you for watching. Kapow Wow Matt.